Hello there, K1 Crafted here with another video. And in today's video, I will show you how to compress the air by using a water tap. If you're interested to see how, stick around. So, for the start, you need a tank with two connectors one for incoming water and one for outgoing compressed air. And yes, it's the same tank I used for the oil extractor project. So I reused some of the footage from that project too. I picked one of these water containers as the tank. But because the cap is not airtight, I had to replace it. And if you had seen my previous videos, you already know it. The bottom half of tiny Sprite bottles is just the perfect match for this. We need to attach two connectors to the reservoir tank and all these have to be airtight. So I carefully selected the bits and forced both connectors in. I've also used some silicon glue to make sure they are well sealed. Since it's going to be an air tank, I decided to add a pressure gauge on top of the cap so I can easily read the tank's pressure. So this is how it works. You connect an airtight tank to a water hose and open up the water tap. Depends on your water pressure, some water will get into the tank, which is completely enclosed and had no other open holes. And the rest would be compressed air with pressure almost equal to the water which comes out of the tap. I know, at first it doesn't sound like anything serious, but I've managed to get up to 30 psi of air pressure with this technique using just the city water. Not bad, huh? And the beauty of it is it doesn't need any electricity or cranking. Well, technically though, it uses the power of city water pumps or any other water pumps, which is the source of pressure for the water. 